All right. Well, once again, everyone, welcome to the Epson Technology Center in uh, Carson, California, just outside of Los Angeles. And I'm, I'm in our media lab where we do a lot of testing for our Sh Sure Color commercial series products. And uh, I'm Mark Aguilera, and I'm the P series product manager for uh, the entire P series product line P for photo, P for proofing, which I know you're all really, really aware of. Um, I want to jump into uh, my presentation. I'm going to speak for 15 minutes, and then Tony's going to take it from here. And, and I want to specifically talk about our latest P series products, the Sure Color P7570 and the Sure Color P9570 as well. Uh, they they kind of represent the, the benchmark of, of 20 years of large format experience. And, and uh, we've come up with some products, I think, that will, will um, that are really amazing in the field of production printing. So yeah, let's go on to the next slide. I, I don't want to go over every single feature because I know that you guys are very, very aware of the technology and, and you have lots of uh, history with Epson product. So strategically, I've decided to talk about some key, uh, just a few key factors with regards to this new platform or this new printer series. First and foremost is that this machine is 40 pounds heavier. It's been designed from the ground up so that the parts is, are all sort of fine tuned for production. Uh, this printer is going to last a long time. It's very robust. It's gonna take the kind of duty cycle that you need. So that's, that's one thing to realize is that if you're familiar with our P-Series, SureColor P-Series P9000 or 7000, these machines are much heavier, much more robust than previous generations. So the other thing I wanna talk about is that if you're familiar with Epson technology, you understand, or inkjet printing in general, that you understand that uh, you know the atmospheric condition, you know particles that are in the environment. You want to protect the print path from any of that type of uh, material. And so we've actually redesigned the roll cover so that it completely is sealed all the way through, so from the front and and the back. So we have a a, a, a new design where we protect from particulates falling into the print area from the front as well as the back. So that's a big deal. I think that. Um, that should be noted. The other thing is, is and I'll talk about it at more towards the end of the presentation, is that we have a fully new design front panel that's a 4.3 inch touchscreen, and it, it has a lot of features right on the front panel, and I'll go through them at the end, but, but it's something that I wanted to just point out that it's a, a, an important aspect to the new products, essentially. So um, now, okay, let's move on to the next slide. One of the things that's probably the most important thing to talk about when we talk about printing technology is the print head. The print head is essentially the engine of the whole entire operation. And we've spent since the 1980s actually, uh, several decades perfecting the print head and making it our own. And so our, um, our latest generation print head is quite different than previous generation print head. So, so let, me, let me just show you a size comparison here so you can see the difference. This represents the latest generation micro TFP print head that is in the SureColor P7570 and the SureColor P9570, as well as our SureColor P20000. And then this is our older TFP print head which is in um, our, our P7000, P9000, and, and 6000, 8000. And you can see that there's a huge, huge difference between the two. In fact, this is a one inch print head in the blade, and this is a 2.64, it's stacked. So what that means is that it produces twice the amount of throughput. So that's a big, big deal for, for you guys, and, and I understand that. And so this generation of, of print head um, is, is something that we're, that we're quite proud of. So I'm just gonna put this to the side here. So with the SureColor P7570 and the SureColor P9570, we actually have 12 channels, 12 channels that represent the 12 inks that are in the printer. And our other technology where we had a matte black and a photo black, and you had to switch and it had to share a channel. Well, there's an independent channel now for matte black and photo black. So there's no switching, which means that there's no time it takes to go from one a matte media to a photo media, and you're not wasting any ink. So that's a, that's a big, big, big difference. So let me go to the next slide because I want to talk even more in depth with the print head. Just previous slide, okay, there we go. 
So like I said, this represents the latest generation. Matter of fact, it's our sixth generation printhead technology called Precision Core, and it's the micro TFP printhead. And there's 9,600 nozzles. So um, each, each row has 400 nozzles. There's two rows to each blade. That's 800 nozzles per blade times 12. That's 9,600 nozzles. And, and that's amazing where we have the ability to drop a 3.5 picoliter drop of ink um, as small as, and then variable sizes. So if you've got a solid color area, we print with a larger drop. If a, a, and you've got like transition area, we go with the smaller drop. So we have that ability to, 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 to utilize variable droplets. Now, the other thing that's super important about our micro TFP print head compared to our competition is that it utilizes what's called micro piezo technology. And what micro piezo technology is, is that in the abstract, let's think about this. So we have this really, really thin um, layer of, of crystal that is about one micron thick. It's incredibly, incredibly thin. And that crystal, we can use electricity to vibrate that electricity and act as, a, um, uh, as an actuator to pump ink out through the nozzle. And it does so with an incredibly precise way because we're using electricity. See, our competitors use thermal. So and that's not as, um, as, as, as accurate over time. You may get a good print once, but then over time replicating that's really, really difficult. So on the right-hand side, you can see those tiny little drops magnified. We're able to produce a very, very accurate drop time after time, day after day, month after month, year after year. And I realize this is incredibly important to the fashion industry, to be able to spec a color, get that color uh, today, next week, and a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, you wanna be able to get that exact same color. So now we also have this really great technology called nozzle verification technology. And what this means is that we have the ability to use electricity to send a pulse through the nozzle and detect through waveform technology whether or not that, um, that, that nozzle is clogged or not. And why this is so important is that you can actually check the health of your nozzles without using any kind of ink. And it's all done so underneath the hood. It's done so periodically so that um, every time you go to the printer and hit print, you're gonna, make, you're gonna be able to get a uh, clog-free nozzle. You're gonna be able to get a nice, beautiful print every single time. And that translates to this ability as a work, you know, if you're, if you're working and you're not printing, a, today but you're going to print tomorrow and you're going to print a lot on thursday and then you're going to print a lot on friday because the deadline that you're going to be able to walk up to the printer do a quick nozzle check see that all the nozzles are firing because of this nozzle verification technology that's been going on in the background and then you're going to be able to get this uh, beautiful print so you have that industrial level reliability with this print head that is just unmatched so it's 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 amazing all right let's let's go on to the next slide now, I also want to talk about speed. Because we have such a huge print head, I just want you to show you some benchmark slides uh, because I think it, it, it's, it's good to talk about speed, but let's look at the specifics. If you're doing a rendering that's, say, 16 by 20 inches and you're printing with 600 by 600, 600 by 600 high speed, which is actually bi-directional, you're going to be able to get that print out in one minute and nine seconds. That's incredibly fast. So you can see this table here with various resolutions. Even if you go higher resolution at the highest resolution possible, it's a three minute and 32 second uh, print. So it's incredibly fast compared to our previous generation. So let's just take a look. Let's look at the next slide real quick. So our, this represents our previous generation. We're about 2.5 times faster than our P7000, P9000 with the 7570 and the 9570. You can see at production print speed, which I, from what I understand is about the typical print speed that you guys would run 600 by 600. Um, you, you look at that, that difference between speed, 80 square feet per hour versus 381 square feet per hour. So it's incredibly fast if you have to do a, a short run of, of prints or you have to print a lot. You're gonna be able to get the job done much faster than before. Cool, let's take a look at the next slide. Now, I just wanted to show you in reference to our competition. So I recently did a, a benchmark study and gathered some intelligence from Canon as well as our own 
research, and we're even 1.5 to 1 times, 1.9 times faster than Canon. So you can see with their latest generation printer that we are definitely faster than our competition as well. So this slide represents the ProGraph 2100, the 24 inch, which is equivalent to our uh, SureColor P7570. So much, much faster. Next slide. Now this is with the 9570, our 44 inch printer. We're 1.3 times and 1.6 times faster than their Image ProGraph Pro 4100. So we definitely have speed in the bag for sure, as well as quality, as well as accuracy. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, a little bit about color gamut because these new printers represent a 12 ink system where um, we've extended the color gamut because we've added violet compared to, I know a lot of you are using the, the HDX inks, the, the, um, the 9,000 and the uh, 7,000. Well, if you look at our, this, this gamut representation here, we're about 6% wider than the P9000. So that does represent a little bit larger color gamut. So that's helpful when you're trying to hit those particular spot colors or you're, you've got a particular blend from a fashion rendering that you wanna be able to hit and maybe you weren't able to hit it before with this extended color gamut, you might be able to hit that color that you're looking at. Okay, next slide. All right, so a little bit about the front panel. So there's a lot of features on the front panel and let's see if we can get a quick little close up of the front panel. And so a lot of the operation on the front panel is, is very useful to an operator. And we have a couple of different modes um, where we can, when we're sending a job, we can, we can basically look at the printer and it will tell you uh, how much time is left on the actual print, which is really great in a production environment where you have to look across and see, okay, my five prints that I'm printing or my one large print, how long is it gonna take? Oh, it's got two minutes, it's got three minutes, it's got five minutes, so you can set that up to where it shows up. It's on the, it's on the slide there on the, on the bottom right-hand corner. We have the ability to turn on this cool light, which can show you what's printing, which is kind of nice. So you just basically, when, you, when, when the job goes to print, it turns on automatically, but if you wanted to walk up to the printer, so you can see that there's kind of a, a light that's right built right into it. And every single uh, feature set for the front panel that, that has to do with media can be chosen on the front panel. So it's quite robust. And, and I realize I'm running out of time, so I'm not gonna you know, talk too much about the front panel anymore in the interest of time. But if you have some questions about what the front panel can do, please let me know and, and, and we can definitely talk about it. All right, one quick, one, one more slide and then I'll, I'll finish. I'll just finish up with one of the things that we recently done too here at Epson is that we have the ability to extend the warranty uh, for the, uh, the printer. We've always had a one and two year extension, but we've now, you have the ability to extend it another four years. So you have a total of five years coverage. So that's something you talk to Clark with and, uh, and he can sell you basically um, an extended warranty so that you can keep this printer running um, for, for up to five years, you know, bumper to bumper warranty. So yeah, that's essentially uh, all I wanted to cover. I'm gonna pass it over now to Tony and Tony's gonna give his presentation and then we can then kind of group back and then we can have some shop talk and you can ask us anything you want and, uh, and we'll go from there. 